I think it's several things. Um, I'm very disappointed at the um, amount of teams that we have gotten into the tournament. Um, and it doesn't really make sense because when our teams do get in the tournament, we perform well. Example, the number 10 seed goes to the Final Four, uh, which is with us in the ACC. Uh, the reason why we're going to the Final Four is because we have a great conference and we're battle tested. Um, I think there's a couple, you know, things that we've we've got to do as coaches uh, in our league is, uh, for whatever reason, the the committee, the particular committees in the last three years have put a lot of emphasis on November and December. Um, and uh, as a conference, we have to try to go out and schedule better in November and December. Uh, if that's going to be a major criteria as far as how many teams we get in there, uh, it's a little frustrating because you know you're playing 20 ACC games, uh, and those 20 games are pretty tough. Uh, I would invite anybody outside of our conference to come and play in any of our home venues. Uh, they're tough to play in. Uh, I hope that we have a great uh, November and December where they can no longer use your non-conference against you. Uh, and I think that's been one of our biggest issues is uh, our non-conference has, um, according to the talking heads, hadn't been great. Uh, th the last thing I would say about it is um, that, you know, I, I think we lost some, some really unique Hall of Famers that have been into our conference over the years. And um, uh, I think everybody's kind of taking that for granted. And I think we're getting a little bit punished uh, because we don't have the Hall of Fame coaches in our leagues as, as we did in the past. And, and hopefully they forget about that. Um, they were great coaches and everything else. But we've got a great league, um, and, and we should be getting, in my opinion, nine or ten teams into the conference, into the tournament every single year.